All three piece, baby. Oh, oh, no. Oh my God. No. Oh, oh, clip it, clip it, clip it. Oh, yo, chat, chat, clip it. Chat, did you clip? Chat. What is going on everybody? It is E-Rock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. And if, have, if you have ever been in a scenario like you just saw in the beginning of this video, um, where you're just focused into a game and you're hoping chat will clip something for you. And um, you either A, don't have a chat, which is me half the time, <laughs> or you're just so into the game and you're just like, screaming someone to clip it. I think that is the worst thing that just ruins a clip completely. Just screaming, somebody clip that. I think it ruins a clip completely. Um, so if you have an Elgato stream deck, I highly suggest putting a clip it button for you right on there. It takes half a second to reach over wherever it is, hit the button and it captures the last 30 seconds for you. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Um, if you are interested in watching my zero viewer streams, uh, links going to be in the description box down below and consider, uh, subscribing and leaving a like on this video if, uh, it was at all helpful. So, all right. So I'm not going to show you how to download your stream deck software. If you don't have a stream deck, um, I suggest getting one because it helps streaming out tremendously. But if you have a stream deck already, you should already know how to have the software. So I'm not going to go over that part. Um, first things first though, you're going to have to connect your Twitch account. Um, this is for Twitch. I don't know if they have it for Mixer. I don't know if they have it for YouTube. So if you're looking for that, sorry. Um, so you come over to this little cog wheel here. You're going to have to go to accounts. You're going to have to add an account here. I'm going to go to Twitch. It's going to bring up a sign in. I'm going to si uh, make sure you guys can't see this. So I'm going to sign into my Twitch here. And then I'm pretty sure it's going to ask me if I'm a robot. I don't think I'm a robot. Select all the squares with crosswalks in it. Okay. I click remember this for 30 days, but apparently it doesn't. All right. So now that we're in, you can see my Twitch account here is linked. It goes right here. That's all you have to do once it's uh, connected. You can exit this out. And uh, yeah, so you just go to the Twitch drop down here. You go to create clip and all you do is click and drag it to the button you want. Um, I, this is where it's been on mine the whole time. I'm just creating a new one for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is like the default picture it brings up. If you want to make your own, you can create a new icon. It'll bring you to their website and you can customize a button to your liking with some of their stuff. Or you can do what I did. I went on the interweb, got my own little clip it guy here. So we're going to set from file. We're going to go here. We're going to open. And now this is my little clip it button. So every time I clip this while I'm streaming or hit this button while I'm streaming, it is going to automatically capture the last 30 seconds of your stream. Um, so just a quick example here, I guess, is uh, we'll go to my channel. I'll just show you a quick little clip. Um, just to show you where to find it, you go to video, you drop this down, go to clips, clips of my channel, and we'll just click on the first one here. Um, oh yeah, it's just a just apex clip. So yeah, it automatically captured the last 30 seconds of this game, or of this, when I uh, clicked on it. So yeah, it's literally that simple, it's not very difficult to do. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, Consider subscribing, leave a like, follow the Twitch, do whatever you feel like it. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for the support as always. And I'll see you in the next one.